I think as the Catholic Church in Scotland, we see ourselves as a full member of the Scottish family. When you say Catholic Church to someone, they might not immediately think of the innumerable instances of compassionate and selfless charity that seem to go unnoticed each and every day throughout Scotland and beyond. Feeding the poor, tending to the sick and the lonely, standing up for the vulnerable and defenceless. Day in, day out, the Church is doing this great work and is making a significant and positive contribution to society. And it's all out of love. Throughout Scotland and throughout the world, probably, uh, it's the St Vincent de Paul Society, as you know. They just get on with things quietly, but uh, very effectively, and they're reaching out to large numbers of people. So last year we carried out over 45,000 visits to the poor, the needy, the sick, and we carried out 10,000 visits to people in sick in hospital. We also provide furniture to nearly 3,000 people. In terms of financial assistance, last year we spent around about £1.3 million pounds in total. The mission and purpose of the church is really to give glory to God and to make known God's love in Jesus Christ for every human person and for the world. If you look at the coat of arms of the late Cardinal Thomas Winning, there is Caritas Christi Urget Nos, and it's a quote from St Paul, and it's the love of Christ urges us to act. We believe that every human being is made in the image and likeness of God, no matter who they are, no matter what they do, no matter what they have done. My organisation is the Cardinal Winning Pro-Life Initiative, uh, which was started on the 9th of March 1997 uh, by the late Cardinal Thomas Winning, uh, who made an announcement at a pro-life conference offering practical and spiritual and financial and emotional help to anyone faced with a crisis pregnancy and also help to women after and men following an abortion experience. So our help is, is mainly practical help and emotional help. So we talk to people and we find out what it is that they're worried about and why they're thinking of having an abortion. And then we try and offer them help to, to help them to make the decision to keep their baby. And then we support them for as long as needed after, after the birth of that child. But we have to remember that anything that goes against the law of God or anything that goes against the law of what's so deeply human about us, which is written on our hearts, what we would call the natural law, is something we all need to be also aware of. Just because the law says something is possible doesn't mean to say that we should acquiesce to it. We believe that the church has something very positive to offer society, particularly through the beauty and goodness of Catholic social teaching. And this really is the Parliamentary Office's starting point as we engage with Parliament and Government, arguing and working for human dignity and for the common good. Think of the mace of the Scottish Parliament. There's four values inscribed on it that we like to think Scotland lives by. Those values are compassion, wisdom, integrity, justice. In a nutshell, the Catholic Church in Scotland wants to do what it can to help Scotland be that kind of country. The country we want to be at our best. We're here in St Catherine's Mercy Centre, Lauriston Gardens, Edinburgh. This house has been here since 1861. We welcome people in, give a listening ear and whatever support they need. We have a homeless project on site and the homeless project we serve 200 meals a day between morning and evening. We do this with the help of our volunteer Mercy Helpers. We have 140 volunteers and they do the cooking, the door keeping, the serving. We had an event for young people uh, which was called Beyond the Walls and this was to show to the young people that the church activity existed beyond the walls of the church itself. SCAF is the Scottish Catholic International Aid Fund and it does pretty much what it says on the tin. So we help um, people in schools, parishes and throughout Scotland work with us so that we can work with people and communities overseas to get themselves out of poverty. So we help them grow more food or earn a better income so they can provide for their families and loved ones. We help them live in communities that are safer, more peaceful and more just. It's in St Andrew's Hospice in, in Airdrie which is, is very well supported and was founded by, by religious sisters and, and they still are, are part of the, the team that, that works there. That's an important part of the, the church's is, is work to, to, to bring comfort to people in their, their time of need, especially illness, and, and at that time too in life when, when, when it's likely that people are facing um, death. 
Justice and Peace exists to advise and inform the Bishops' Conference on matters of human rights, social justice and peace building and to promote action in the tradition of Catholic social teaching across the church. Some days will be in schools meeting with classes, whole year groups talking about different social issues, meeting with politicians, partners from other campaign agencies, other organisations, churches, faith groups. Uh, will be present at public witness and demonstrations. Well, one new agency that we have welcomed into our diocese in the last year has been the Apostleship of the Sea. We've got a very, very large uh, coastline here on the mainland and of course we have many islands. So our uh, deacons are uh, welcoming ships, they're going in and talking to crew, many of them are from far away, they're looking for signs of human trafficking, they're assisting people in any way. I've found since uh, coming back to Scotland five years ago um, a wonderful thing which is a great friendship between the Christians in Scotland and it's been very very interesting in fact it's been great to get to meet them bit by bit the moderators as they come along every year of the Church of Scotland um, the, the bishops of the Episcopal Church and the leaders of the Methodists and the other Christian faiths. I work with our committee for interreligious dialogue set up by the Bishops Conference. It tries to make connections with people of faith and engage in interreligious dialogue really and we do that in various ways. We do it by working with Interfaith Scotland, the national interfaith body for example. We meet with the religious leaders of Scotland which is great really an opportunity to talk about our concerns and our concerns for our faiths and for the future of Scotland. Once a year we meet with the First Minister who has an interfaith forum. We also have every year a reception for faith communities. The Scottish Catholic Education Service works on behalf of the Bishops' Conference of Scotland to share the vision of Catholic education with all associated parties. So we work with our schools, our parents, our pupils and also local government and national government. There are um, around 400 Catholic schools within Scotland and the majority of those are state funded. So that's free at the point of access for schools. Um, and that is something which is unique across the world and it's something which I think is really a legacy for Scotland that there's the choice for parents to be able to have Catholic education and that's something which we are deeply committed to and it's something that we look forward to working with the government uh, for the future as well. We're not just a, a social agency but we also have the idea that when we are at prayer we are also making a huge contribution to society. I think the best thing that, if you like, politicians can do for us is to let us be free to be ourselves. Because when we're ourselves, that's when we do our best work for others. The other side of the coin is that when we're not true to ourselves, they should tell us so that we should be better. It's part of our faith that you cannot separate your relationship with God from your relationship with people. And, um, uh, I think that shows itself in not just in Catholic social teaching but in Catholic social action and in the, the good work which has been done by countless people quietly in their parishes as they help and look after and care for their neighbour.